striking proportions delivered through a blend of car-like glass house with an SUV waistline. The Villar is unmistakably Range Rover. That characteristic floating roof line, the way the windscreen intersects the front axle and that continuous waistline. You know, its simple form emphasizes the bold new design language that started by Villar that will begin the journey for the rest of the family. At 188.9 inches long, it's 17 inches longer than Evoque, but only two inches shy of Range Rover Sport. Height-wise, it's just one inch taller than Evoque. So for a customer, it's easy to see dimensionally where the Villar sits. The profile for me is a balance of sportiness and refinement. It says capability with composure. Villar shares the same aluminum architecture found on the highly successful Jaguar F-Pace. It's stiff and strong, and that's the foundation for its all-terrain capability. Available as standard, our dynamic HSE sits on 21-inch 10-spoke alloys, but customers can choose from 18 to 22-inch in eight distinctive designs. Customers should experience the theater of the flush, deployable door handles. They've been tested at extremely low temperatures, and they can punch through one eighth of an inch of sheet ice. Now, the coefficient of drag of Villar is an extremely impressive 0.32, and the flush door handles help reduce the vehicle's drag, wind noise, and of course, fuel consumption. Really feel like the Villar and I have been through a bit of an adventure today, really seeing what this new vehicle can do out in the open roads, but now back home. As I step out of the Range Rover Velar after what has been a most rewarding and exhilarating drive, again, I'm struck by its honed good looks. The profile for me really communicates this real balance between sportiness and refinement, and the way that waistline beautifully connects the front light design all the way through to the rear. Harmony. Now, one of my favorite parts on the design front is the integrated spoiler here on the roof that finishes that floating roof line so nicely. Now, the R-Dynamic styling continues with the exhaust treatment right here, the way it is integrated into the bumper. Very, very stylish. Now, when I pop the trunk using the optional gesture tailgate, there's a handsome amount of luggage space still further to accommodate 70 cubic feet of cargo. Now, the easy loading switch over here, I really like. You just push the button, very convenient, and the air suspension will lower the Villar down so it makes it easier to load items into the cargo area. I just moved house, I could have done with it then. Couldn't have been easier. So now, this is a really nice feature if you live an active lifestyle like I do. It is the optional activity key. So whether you're snowboarding, skiing, cycling, whatever it is, you don't have to worry about losing your keys. You just put on the wristband and here you go, it's locked. Looking at the Villar, its sleek design really echoes my feelings about the vehicle. It's incredibly capable and incredibly composed. I just love it. The paint finish, it's beautiful, very lustrous, and it's complemented very beautifully by jewel-like touches. Down here, just take a look. It's these burnished copper air intakes. For me, they're a mix of high-end jewelry or luxury luggage as they are these functionality of an air intake. I guess on the Velar, they're both. And take a look at these. It's pure function reimagined. They're flush, but of course functional the minute they come out. There's less drag, they're more economic, and they're so easy to operate. I guess you could say it's just so bond. Now, I understand that the door handles have been tested to break through one eighth of an inch of sheet ice. Not a problem here, but worth knowing. I love the large wheels, 21 inch, but I also believe 22 are an option. Very cool. Okay, the outside is beautiful, very exciting, but I understand on the inside, there may be some surprises in store. Let's take a look. That 
distinctive and continuous waistline sweeps along the body size to the rear and then flows into the tail lights. Now the rear spoiler is extremely effective, reducing air noise in the cabin and CO2 emissions. It also has a really cool design with the fundamental purpose of keeping the rear glass cleaner for longer. Now this is one of my favorite things. It's the fully waterproof optional activity key which allows an easy, convenient means of accessing the trunk. By using a kicking motion from either side, behind the rear wheels, allows for hands-free access to the trunk, which is a real benefit when you're struggling with luggage or shopping. Now, once inside, the clever versatility of this cargo space opens up from 34.4 cubic feet with the seats up to 70 cubic feet once the 40, 20, 40 rear seats have been folded flat. The easy loading operated here by this button in the trunk allows Velar to lower 1.9 inch below standard ride height. It can also be raised by 1.9 inch above standard ride height using the trailer hitch button here for towing. By combining design, technology, and capability, the Range Rover Velar represents the most refined and capable medium SUV. It's an exciting time ahead, and within the SUV market, the Velar is perfectly placed to capitalize on the open space opportunity the segment represents. Your drive as retailers will play a key role in maximizing brand loyalty by providing and demonstrating a logical step for buyers looking to move up from the Evoque, and by attracting new customers to the brand. Hi, I'm Justin Bell, motoring journalist and race car driver. Together, we're going to look at some of the key features and technologies of this eagerly anticipated addition to the Range Rover family and how to describe and sell these features and benefits to customers. There's an excitement and confidence around the Range Rover Velar that is infectious, and it's your role as retailers to communicate that, not just to existing Land Rover customers, but new prospects. Thanks to its product strengths and global appeal under the Range Rover pillar, it's expected that up to 75% of Velar customers could be new to the brand. It's vital you connect with all these people opportunities and create a desire to come and see Velar close up. Seeing this vehicle in the flesh is the only true way to fully experience it. Velar is a fresh addition to the Range Rover pillar, filling that white space between Evoque and Range Rover Sport. For sure, the competition out there is fierce, but its futuristic design will play a pivotal role in challenging the German brands like BMW X4, the Porsche Macan, and Audi's Q6. The SUV segment of the automotive market is forecast to grow 30% by 2020. As the definitive SUV brand, Land Rover aims to triple its volume and double its market share in that time frame. Velar is forecast to bring substantial additional volume to the Land Rover brand. Velar is targeted at the emerging and fast-growing premium medium SUV segment, which has recently seen the arrival of new products with the Porsche Macan and the BMW X4, all confirming the trend for more compact, more efficient SUVs. The US market is and remains the largest SUV market in the world. Velar represents a golden opportunity to leverage sales within this exciting market. These are indeed exciting times ahead. So let's explore Velar together in more detail. I've really enjoyed my time driving and exploring in my new ride out in the countryside. But you know, those same capabilities such as suspension, handling, traction, they're equally relevant when it comes to the streets of a city like Charlotte here. Maneuvering through the streets and these varied urban driving conditions, the Range Rover Velar gives me so much confidence. And I think a big part of that is this Sports Command driving position, which gives me great visibility even in tight situations like this. And of course, that giant panoramic sunroof allows me as the driver tremendous light 
but if I had passengers in the back, they just had the most spectacular view out of the roof. As you know, driving can be stressful at the best of times, but I must say that this cabin environment is so refined and relaxing. It's a joy to glide through these streets in such composed luxury. I keep seeing glimpses of myself reflected in the windows of buildings as I pass by and then the look of interest on pedestrians' faces as this new vehicle drives their streets and it just reminds me of how sleek and perfectly fitting and suitable the Villar is to any contemporary modern environment. Just stunning. Villar has a host of technologies that give it supreme capability across multiple terrains. Firstly, there's all-wheel drive with intelligent driveline dynamics, ensuring improved traction and fuel efficiency in various road and weather conditions. Adaptive dynamics, the optional configurable dynamics, allows customers to configure vehicle's characteristics like suspension, steering settings, etc., to suit their individual driving needs. Now, Land Rover's terrain response with its six settings, has the addition of auto mode through Terrain Response 2, which seamlessly senses the road surface and selects the best setting for the customer. The optional active rear locking differential ensures the greatest level of traction in various weather conditions, both on and off road. Composure is further enhanced by the latest electronic air suspension available as standard on this V6 version. These performance and all-terrain features underpin the incredible capabilities of the Velar, setting it aside from the competition, so it's very important to outline these benefits to your customers. For more information on these and other features and benefits, please search on the Jaguar Land Rover Source app. It's really important to communicate to the customers that Range Rover Velar is the most connected Land Rover to date. Land Rover in Control is a suite of standard and optional features that really connects the customer to their vehicle and seamlessly with the outside world. It features technologies such as the In Control remote smartphone app. It's an app that provides upgraded information on Velar and enables you to interact with it remotely. Pretty useful. It includes features like Optimize Land Rover Assistance, which transmits diagnostic data and your location in the event of a breakdown. The system also includes functions like lock and unlock doors, remote preheating and cool cabin, and find your car using beep and flash. The In Control apps allows vehicle optimized apps on a customer's smartphone to be controlled through the touchscreen. There's also 4G Wi Fi hotspot capability. There is a range of pro services which offers a host of invaluable assistance like real-time traffic flow, fuel price service, parking service, online search, and many more. As part of In Control Protect, stolen vehicle locator can be used to track and recover a vehicle if it's stolen. Very reassuring for the customer. There's also two power socket packs with up to four 12 volt sockets and four USB ports. And if rear entertainment is taken as an option, then this offers two further USB ports and two HDMI inputs. All in all, the Velar offers the customer a truly comprehensive, efficient suite of live information, connecting them to their vehicle and then onwards to the world outside. There's no hiding my enthusiasm for the way the Range Rover Velar handles these twisty corners. It's quite superb. Land Rovers say their all-wheel drive system can react faster than the blink of a human eye, which if you don't know how long that is, is about 100 to 150 milliseconds. And as I maneuver the car through these very demanding corners, I can really feel all that technology in action. The Velar is just so responsive. All-wheel drive with the intelligent driving dynamics is continually optimizing the engine torque distribution to the front and the rear wheels, ensuring enhanced traction and fuel efficiency 
in the various road and weather conditions. I feel very confident in the company of this vehicle. Now after 25 years of racing, my hands have got pretty sensitive to the feel through a steering wheel. And I must say that the electric power assisted steering is exceptionally connected. And what makes it even better is I can personalize it through the configurable dynamics menu here. Torque vectoring by braking assists my cornering as I accelerate out, heavy acceleration, and it really does minimize the understeer and gives me the feeling of incredible control. Lovely crisp turn into this tight hairpin. And as I accelerate out, just great balance through this faster sweeping corner. The steering is so precise and intuitive without compromise. Refinement remains the underlying product truth in all aspects of the Range Rover Velar, no more so than inside. As you step into Velar with the customer, the R-Dynamic styling continues on the tread plate. With them sat in the Sports Command driving position, the elevated view adds to their feeling of safety and security. Exquisite detailing, like the satin chrome gear shift paddles, and this steering wheel with its chrome bezel, all feel exacting to the touch putting the customer at the heart of Velar. There is a range of seat material options, from perforated Windsor leather, to the eco-sustainable microfiber suede cloth, to woolen upholstery. Driver's seat with 20-way positioning and memory, massage, and climate functionality enhance the customer experience. The pared down exterior styling continues throughout the interior. Terrain response buttons and other functions are now touchscreen operations, part of the sleek Touch Pro Duo with its upper and lower screen. Interior lighting gives customers a feeling of comfort, convenience, and style. Material choice for the customer continues with trim and veneer finishes in options such as copper weave carbon fiber, argento pinstripe, shadow aluminum, or satin charcoal. There's convenient features like twin sliding armrests with deep storage beneath, and the panoramic sunroof floods the Velar with light. The interior cabin is a quiet haven of refined relaxation. Working seamlessly with the Touch Pro Duo, the capacitive steering wheel controls really does put the driver at the center of operation. It has these very clever hidden to lit switches. The controls are configurable, allowing the customer to preset a functional task to the button right here, like home destination, or in my case, probably would be my favorite phone contact. Now the thumb wheel is a very intuitive and simple way to adjust the volume, menus, and navigation settings. The 12.3 inch interactive driver display, which is operational through the steering wheel, really does allow the customer to pick their favorite settings and display it right up here on the screen. As you can see, for me, it's the full navigational map. Now the head up display is an option that really does present key vehicle data, such as speed, gear position, and navigation right up here in your line of sight on the windshield. This in combination with the interactive driver display and the upper and lower Touch Pro Duo system offers the driver great scope and options for receiving information and being in touch and control safely and effortlessly. I suspect the majority of Range Rover Velar owners will never take their vehicles seriously off-road, but actually there's no reason why not. It's in auto mode on the optional terrain response to, and it's effortlessly setting up the vehicle systems to optimize available traction. As I pull off the paved highway onto this gravel road, you can see how it's so sure-footed as it adapts to this new surface. Velar is a true Range Rover with all the same breadth of all-terrain capability. 
It has an impressive wading depth of 25.5 inches, great vehicle geometry, the optional all-terrain progress control, and on this, terrain response too. So like all Range Rover vehicles, it really has off-road capability at its core. Up ahead, there's a rocky track where the surface, let's just say, is a little more challenging than this gravel track. Velara, I'm sure, will cope easily in auto mode, but I'm just going to slip it into mud and ruts here. As I do that, the air suspension raises automatically to the off-road height. Here I go. Just going along this track, the vehicle geometry in these tricky situations is key. And with an approach angle of 29 degrees, with the air suspension fully raised, a departure angle of 30 degrees and a breakover angle of 24, Velar seems extremely capable in these rather tricky conditions. That active locking differential gives excellent traction to the rear wheels when the articulation is at its max. That's really impressive. Composed and assured gave me a lot of confidence. Let's head back to the road. Land Rover's know-how when it comes to the systems developed for off-road driving have real benefit when it comes to the on-road experience. They cross over seamlessly, both mutually benefiting each other. The optional active rear locking differential, for instance, gives great stability and control around these fast corners. But I know it's a real asset when it comes to off-road driving, meaning the torque in certain situations could be applied 100% to the rear wheels. Here, it's probably more like a 50-50 split between front and rear, but it's constantly adapting at every moment through every corner. The double wishbone front and integral link rear suspension on the Range Rover Velar is giving me real confidence in the vehicle's stability on these stunning upland roads. So often when it comes to suspension setup and ride, it's a real compromise and it ends up being too stiff, but not here, it's very smooth and refined. The all-around air suspension feels very assured and those electronically controlled dampers work in combination to enhance my driving experience by intelligently adapting to my driving style. It's all rather clever, really. I think I'd like to take the Velar off-road now to see how the systems function in a different, tougher environment. <laughs> 